Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into something that's probably sitting in your living room, on your front door, or even controlling the temperature of your home right now, your smart devices. We love the convenience of our smart homes, adjusting the lights from our phone, seeing who's at the door when we're not there, or having our coffee maker start automatically. It feels like living in the future, right? But what if I told you that this convenience could come with a hidden and very high price? What if your smart toaster wasn't just toasting your bread, but also your personal security? It sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's a chilling reality. Many of these Internet of Things or IoT devices are rushed to market with dazzling features, but unfortunately, with shockingly weak security, think about it. Your smart doorbell sees and hears everything that happens at your front entrance. Your smart thermostat knows when you're home and when you're away. Your smart speaker is always listening. Each one of these gadgets is a potential doorway into your digital life. Hackers aren't just interested in your bank account anymore. They're targeting these seemingly harmless devices. So how does it happen? Often it's simpler than you'd think. Many people never change the default username and password that come with their devices. That's like leaving your front door key under the mat with a big sign pointing to it. Hackers have lists of these default credentials and can scan the internet for vulnerable devices in minutes. Once they're in, they don't just have control of that one device. They can use it as a launch pad to infiltrate your entire home network. Suddenly, your smart light bulb becomes a gateway to your laptop, your phone, and all the sensitive data stored on them. They can spy on you through your own security cameras, They'll listen in on your conversations, or even use your devices to launch attacks on others, making you an unwilling accomplice. But don't rush to unplug everything just yet. There are simple, powerful steps you can take to lock down your smart home. First and foremost, change those default passwords. Create strong, unique passwords for every single device and for your Wi-Fi network. Enable two-factor authentication whenever it's available. Keep your device firmware updated. Those updates often contain critical security patches. And be mindful about what you connect. Do you really need your coffee pot to be on the internet? By being a little more cautious and a lot more proactive, you can enjoy the convenience of a smart home without turning it into a security nightmare. It's our digital home, and it's up to us to protect it. Thanks for watching, and if you found this helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more tips on staying safe in our connected world. See you next time.